Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your mid partnerships, business, or work. And I feel like just a lot of communication coming through from all angles, from all people. A lot of communication for those of you who are dating too. You might be internet dating. So you're getting a lot of uh, prospects, um, romantic news, like letters, um, emails, messages all over the place. And I feel like it's coming in left and right. So um, for those of you who are dating and if you haven't been dating, you know, like in the past and you've been away from it for, for quite some time, I feel like it's very exciting for you. And um, take it slow because, you know, if you haven't been dating for quite some time, take it very, very slowly. And I feel like amongst all the people that are contacting you, you are going to find a gem of a partner. Okay, so that's the, the words are a gem of a partner, which is sounds really magical. It sounds really good. You are at least going to meet a lot of people who are very like-minded, who can fulfill you emotionally, and who have a lot to offer in terms of, you know, their... their um, the energy, their energy level is very, very optimistic as well. So it's a great month for you Taurians out there to start dating, okay? Um, I also feel there's a lot of attraction with other people or other people are like flocking to you. And there's also like um, a lot of um, opportunities for you to be intimate with a lot of people. So if you're dating, you know, just casually dating, um, be careful about that energy because you you don't want to scatter yourself and you want to find that hidden gem Okay, you want to find that gem of a person they're coming in. So that's why you want to be a little bit more selective about um, Who you devote your time to that's just overall advice if you just are not looking for a long-term stable relationship Then go ahead and you know date whoever but I feel like if you are looking for the one just um be careful about getting intimate with strangers too early. Okay. So let's see what we have for you in terms of the cards. Yeah, a lot of you are, like, those of you who are single are trying to find the one, though. Because it's showing up in your hopes and fears. And um, you are trying to find the right person. You are trying to find that gem of a person who is worth devoting your time, your energy, your financial resources to. Um, okay, so let's talk about this situation here. Once again, be careful about committing or at least getting intimate with people too fast. I feel like for a lot of you who are out there dating again, um, there might be like a lot of like um, people that say one thing, they make plans and they don't follow through. So rule them out. Just don't waste your time. And I feel like you're, um, especially, I feel like if you haven't been dating for quite some time, there might be like people that send out messages and they're like, oh, meet me here and here. And then you feel like it's going to pan out. It's going to be beautiful and it's going to be, you know, the, the ideal situation, the love of your life. And they just renege on their plans. So just be careful about, you know, first of all, sleeping with them too soon, uh, getting intimate too soon pouring out your heart too soon for those of you who have recently re-entered the dating scene because I feel like what you see is not what you get so just be careful about that but I feel that amongst them there will be somebody that is um, on your level that's looking for the same thing that are going to cross your path okay so don't give up just be careful uh, what I'm feeling here is first of all in the past position a lot of you are now in a very, very financially stable position. You have gotten out of um, sticky situations where that jeopardize your financial stability. You're clinging on to it, and a lot of you are very, very cautious as well about your spending, okay, which is good. And it's always like um, the, the spending situation always comes up with Taurus because you, um, you are very like security focused, which is a good thing, okay? So a lot of you have basically regained your power. You're holding on to your financial resources. You're being cautious about spending and you're trying to save up for that nest egg for your future. So as a result of it, I can't help but feel like you're looking for the one. 
a lot of you who are single or who have recently, you know, left a situation, you're kind of like at a point where you feel like I'm ready to find the one. I'm ready to give my heart to the one. But you want to be careful about this as well. And as a result of it, you have recently, you know, reached out to other people. Your social circle is expanding. There's new projects in the works for you. Your financial situation is looking very, very good for this month. I feel like there's contracts coming through. I feel as well with this um, page of wands, this is basically news on the work front, news on the romance front as well. People that want to, that are attracted to you, that want to meet you, that want to um, take you out, okay? So... There's a lot of communication coming through, and I feel like it's very love-focused. What's uh, crossing you here is the world card. And um, I feel like with the world card, there is a little bit of anxiety when it comes to branching out and stepping out of our comfort zone and um, basically popping that bubble that we've been insulating ourselves in for so long. There might be self-image issues. There might be just um, a lot of you are trying to I feel like revamp your style, revamp your wardrobe. If that's something that you're doing, it looks to me to be very positive. Whatever you need to do to, to build up your self-esteem, it's always a good thing. But just don't go overboard. At the same time, I feel like um, there are so many opportunities. The world indicates expansion, okay? So I feel like there are a lot of opportunities on the dating front overall. Your foundation here is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands indicates a situation when we, where we are waiting for a person. We're waiting for something to come into our lives. And we've been uh, stagnant, waiting, waiting, waiting for that specific person or that specific um, thing to come into your uh, our lives. It, this can be a job. This can be anything that we are just stuck in one place mourning over it or pining over it, pining after it and wanting it to come in. So you've been doing this for quite some time and now you're breaking out of your shell in order for... So rather than waiting for it, you are taking active steps to call it into you, but to also go out into the world to seek it. So it's a really beautiful like transition in the energy in you taking back control of your life and not waiting anymore, but rather getting out into the world to pursue it. The first challenge is going to come in for this um, the next two weeks, which is <clears throat> dealing with people that are that say one thing and they mean another, or you know like missed opportunities when it comes to the dating front. I feel for a lot of you, you're getting so many you know suitors. I feel a lot of suitors, and um, you know they might have like made promises. Oh, let's be committed with one another and then they don't follow through. I feel like this is just a minor thing. It's just, they're just minor setbacks so that you can be careful in the future. And I feel like, especially when it comes to people, younger people who are dating, they have multiple, um, you know, irons in the fire. So I, you feel as if you might have been the only one, but they, they're like um, um, hedging their bets by dating other people. So a lot of you have come to the, this realization that, you know, what you see is not what you get. And you're also getting yourself out of this stuck energy where you're kind of just perpetually in waiting mode. And you're actively taking better, like taking steps to be more proactive about steering your life in the direction that you want, especially on the dating front. OK, finances looks very stable. So I feel like it's mainly on the dating front that um, the energy is coming in for me clearest. OK. Um, in terms of your advice here, the advice here is the Seven of Swords. So this is a card about sneaking around. This is about dishonesty. And um, because you're showing up in the upright position, the people around you, you might want to be careful about shady dealing, shady business partners, uh, people who are looking out for number one and they don't really have any you know, ethical, moral considerations. This is something to really take into account, okay? I also feel as well because that a lot of you are dating. I feel messages coming through. You want to screen out the riffraff, okay? So just let just let them go and uh, don't 
don't pine over it. Just let them go, okay? Because people will start to show their true colors. And I feel like your intuition might have told you uh, it's not going to pan out. So, you know, just trust it, okay? What's um, coming in external to your environment here is the Seven of Cups. So all the options are being dwindled down. And they're, you're whittling away and screening out the riffraff. And as a result of it, you are going to end up with the true options, okay? In your hopes and fears, we have the Two of Cups here. And the Two of Cups is basically... Wanting that soul union, wanting that um, relationship or work partnership where there is equal reciprocity between two people. So you want somebody who is just like you, who will give as much as you give who will only take as much as you take. So you want somebody who is courteous. You want somebody who understands you on a very karmic soul level, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, there might be somebody that you are you have had your eyes on for quite some time and you're still hanging on to the memories of them. You might not have had a relationship together, but there's somebody that you really like and you've been waiting for quite some time, hoping that they will come in and in the process of waiting, you're, it's, it's, it's painful, you know, like waiting for a situation that you know is faded, but the other person might not have that um, knowledge just yet. So you've been waiting and then you're realizing that I'm not going to put my life on hold. I'm going to get out there and restart my life. And in the process of getting out there, you're encountering people who are not operating at their best. And a lot of you, it might make you revert back to that previous memory of that other person. But the advice here is hang in there. The right person will be there for you and they will come along in your new social environment. So it's not time really to go back to the old. It's more about moving on, okay? And trusting that we have to screen out the riffraff in order for us to end with the, the shining gem, okay? So that's what I feel is like in alignment for you for the next phase of your life. Because what's coming through is a little bit of frustration. This is the hangman. This is being stepping out of our comfort zone, being in an uncomfortable situation, and learning to juggle, learning to manage it, learning to navigate it. Okay, so you might be out of your elements, it feels when it comes to dating, but I feel like you're going to be um, learning the curves or, you know, maneuvering around these um, uncomfortable situations just fine. And you're also going to be, it's going to take some time. The um, hangman is a card about waiting in suspension. Okay, don't put your life on hold on account of another person. A lot of you as well might be distracting yourself with work in order for you to like uh, make excuses not to date. But I feel like it would be a really beneficial time for you to date, especially coming into April. And especially during your birthday time, that is when the sun is going to be in your sign where, where you shine a little bit brighter. You attract people to you. Also, um, very shortly after, Venus is going to be in your sign. It makes you appear very irresistible and beautiful. So it makes, it makes you charming. It makes you radiant. So it's actually a very, very good time to date. Starting in, an, starting in April, excuse me, continuing into, you know, past your birthday time, okay? So just um, hang in there. It's going to take some time. Right now is pretty much to get yourself situated and comfortable and to learn the ropes, and then things will start to pick up for you. The financial situation is going to be phenomenal. A lot of you might have had financial hardships. All of that is coming to an end, and financial windfall is coming through in terms of assistance, financiers, getting projects off the ground, um, Tax season is also in effect, so there's like some type of financial windfall coming through for you. If you have had financial worries in the past where you are clinging on very, very tightly and protectively to your resources, this situation is going to uplift and you're going to be okay. The Five of Pentacles also indicates to me it's a situation where we feel that we're not worthy, where we feel as if... Um, we're not comfortable in our own skin or we feel insecure, okay? And the cards are basically saying that your financial foundation is going to start to private reading. Please contact, all right? So take care of yourself, Taurus, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.